I think the average New Yorker would be pretty surprised if I started listing out the species that are right here in our own backyard. You have humpback whales, fin whales, sci whales. You have one of the most endangered whales on the planet, the North Atlantic right whale. You have the largest animal that's ever lived, larger than the dinosaurs, the great blue whale. It's amazing to me how little people know about the wildlife, the marine wildlife that exists right off our shores. So the buoy very simply listens for whales, and when it hears whales, it will contact us and tell us what whales it's heard. The buoy is going to be deployed uh, about 25 miles off the coast of Long Island. What will be interesting is when we put this thing in the water, how quickly it is that we hear animals. Whales and marine mammals in general spend so much time underwater, and some of them so far away from land, it's very hard to study them. I'm very interested in the use of technology to try and, and answer scientific questions. Mark and the acoustics group that I work for at NOAA work together to develop a really extensive protocol. Every day I'll analyze what comes in from the buoy in real time. It's definitely amazing to see what they're saying. Whales make these very interesting and intriguing and you know, unique and beautiful vocalizations. And that's a form of communication for them. And we can actually pick up those sounds with the buoy. It will tell us about the whales being present here, how frequent they're vocalizing in these areas, but also tell us with, because of the location of the buoy, some other survey techniques that we'll use, where they are um, and how they're using New York's waters. And we'll use that information to better inform recommendations to help protect them. What's really interesting about the waters here in New York are that we have a lot of activity um, in terms of the, some of the world's busiest shipping lanes coming right through in and out of New York. This is a map of uh, shipping activity in uh, the New York Bight and the southwestern uh, Gulf of Maine. So the shipping lanes coming into New York are these bright red lines and these uh, more diffuse green lines and then these bright lines here as well. Um, this is Long Island here in New York Harbor and the buoy is going to be right about there. We wanted to put the buoy in a place where we could monitor both the whales and keep track of shipping uh, traffic. Direct, if for whatever reason, if I get the release command and it's kind of hung up for whatever reason, yeah. Rick's going to take a little bit of uh, strain on this just to go it's going to kind of come at an angle. Not right. much. Might take a little bit of strain. Of strain in the winch. Yeah, exactly. The New York Bay area is a very, very busy area. It's uh, got lots and lots of ships. We need to do shipping activities, but how do we do it in a way that doesn't impact the whales? And that's the challenge for us as scientists and uh, conservationists is to figure out what that balance is. This is a great collaboration between WCS and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. The acoustic listening buoy is operational and regularly detecting whales, including some of the most endangered whales on the planet. We're using some pioneering technology to better understand when whales are present in New York, how they're using the, these important habitats, so that we can then work with the regulatory authorities to better protect them.